aims and objectives of teaching geography geography has great relevance in education for a better understanding of our society and environment it's this understanding as well as having empathy for people in the world that is necessary if students are to contribute to improve our world the knowledge skills and values developed in learning geography can be used to improve the world through social and environmental action and through a contribution to action about contemporary community concerns geography matters more now than ever cause students need to know human geography they need to understand the relationships that exist between cultures they need to see not just the differences in cultures but the similarities geography matters today more than ever because our children are growing up in a globalized world nearly all business is international and our children never work in isolation they need to know about the other people they work with either in the same office or across the globe they also need to cope up with global crises that range from migration to climate change to pandemics like covid 19 caused by novel coronavirus geography matters because we all all connected and we all belong to this world aims of teaching of geography are determined by its utility by its utility and usefulness in our day to day life the general aims and objectives of teaching geography are to acquaint the pupils with the living conditions of men in different parts of the globe to enable the pupils to acquire a knowledge of natural resources to develop in pupils an understanding of how environment and climate factors have influenced our life to help the pupils to acquire knowledge of the physical and social environment and thus to broaden their outlook to develop in them an understanding of basic concepts principles and theories relating to geographical phenomena to train the pupils in nature study to develop the power of thinking reasoning memory and power of imagination of pupils to develop their ability to draw conclusions and to generalize to develop a love for nation and to develop cosmopolitan and internationalist outlook to develop the creative talents of pupils and to develop an attitude of discovery in them to develop the skills of reading maps and globes to develop drawing and measuring skills and to develop the skill of using and manipulating geographical instruments to enable the pupils to appreciate the natural beauty and other physical forces to help the pupils to acquire economic efficiency and lead a successful life to adjust human life in accordance with geographical circumstances to develop scientific attitude and to develop the ability to draw 
valid conclusions and independent thinking more specifically the aims and objectives of teaching geography may be studied under the following headings first intellectual development the development of intellect is a matter of knowledge and reasoning geography provides ample knowledge to the pupils about the various aspects of earth and natural phenomena it also provides knowledge about different aspects of all the countries of the world the acquisition of this knowledge helps to bring about the intellectual development of the pupils second a main objective of geography is create awareness of place studying geography creates an awareness of place just like our founding fathers identified understanding geography instills an identity of our place more importantly understanding geography helps us make sense of current and historical events whether of economic political or social importance we become better critical thinkers knowing this information geography provides just about every aspect of our lives third objective and aim of geography is develop non fiction reading skills studying geography develops non fiction reading skills geography uses complex visual representations such as maps pictures geography sorry charts and graphs that must be interpreted depending on the purpose students of geography must use higher order thinking skills to analyze and synthesize information studying geography also naturally develops a working knowledge of how to read and process non-fiction text features since those features are woven throughout all aspects of the content finally studying geography builds important vocabulary and background knowledge about our country and world too next objective broadening of outlook geography provides the students with the knowledge about various countries of the world they study about the people of different countries they also come to know about the geographical conditions of the various countries this helps the students to broaden their outlook next objective development of international outlook the development of international outlook is also one of the aims and objectives of teaching geography the students study about the ways of life and conditions of the people of different countries they also come to know about the interdependence of the countries of the world this naturally helps to develop international outlook in the pupils next aim and objective of geography is create a global community studying geography creates a global citizen those who know geography better understand the interdependence of a world and how we are connected through location place movement reason and human environment interactions think about it as we develop our understanding of the important themes of geography we also help build awareness for cultural diversity how and why people live the way they do students need to understand this information in our global society next object and aim development of the quality of adjustment with the environment through the study of geography the students come to know how man has been adjusting to his environment even when it has been very inconvenient to live there they'll also learn about the modes of adjusting to the environment as well as molding the environment to make them congenial to live in this helps the pupils a lot 
in adjusting themselves to the environment which is a quality worth acquiring next objective of geography is development of love for nature and travels love of nature is developed through the study of geography when the student is told and taught about the beauties of nature such as snow clad mountain peaks green forests and the animal wealth he is sure to be attracted to us the beauties of nature moreover the student also reads about other countries this develops in him or her a love for traveling and acquiring knowledge of other countries next objective and aim of geography is acquisition of knowledge of natural resources economic development of a country largely depends upon the natural resources of a country therefore their knowledge is very essential for every individual as the citizen of the country the knowledge of natural resources is provided by geography this helps the citizen to play their part effectively in the economic development of the motherland next knowledge of influence of geographical factors on man geography aims at the study of the influence of the geographical factors on man by the study of geography it is possible for a person to know the influence of the natural factors and the geographical factors on human life this knowledge helps the individuals in their practical life next aim and objective of geography is knowledge of development of civilizations there are geographical factors that influence the development of civilization and culture it is a well known fact that civilizations have grown on account of geographical factors thus the study of geographical throws uh, throws light on and provides knowledge about the growth and development of various civilization of the world next aim is inculcating inculcating mental discipline the aim of teaching geography is that it provides mental discipline in the pupils this means that the subject of geography trains the pupils mode of thought which in turn influences his or her intellectual life and also disciplines his or her mind this mental discipline comes through the application of scientific view in distinguishing facts interpreting them and drawing valid and correct conclusions and inferences this helps in disciplining the mind next object and aim is encouraging independent thinking the study of geography encourages independence of thought and action an independent person will come to his or her conclusions only after thoughtful deliberation thus he or she will develop the habit of independent thinking and finally i would like to say that the long term objectives of teaching geography are these are the long term the bottom i am going to read the below which are long term objectives first one to impart basic knowledge of the physical world this is a long term objective to develop the students observational skills to understand the inter inter interrelation of the subject and society to infuse through understanding of its concepts and theories so these long term objectives aim at providing young pe- pupils such type of knowledge skills and attitudes as would develop an acceptable behavior in a democratic society in which they live